inside was so intriguing. And then when I tried it and completely failed, that was the challenge. And so ever since then, I've, I've been really trying to learn how to approach a plein air painting and be able to accomplish one that, that I feel that is not a frisbee, which happens probably <laughs> eight out of 10 times. But, you know, it's the tools. But I think as far as painting um, landscapes, it's the it's e-ticket, the e if you remember e-tickets. Yes. Because <laughs> it's, it's the light. You're, you're, you have a scene, you want to capture it, the light is shifting, the wind is blowing, the ants are biting your ankles. And uh, it's, can I get this scene? Can I capture it? And it's that combination of challenge and success and never knowing if you're actually going to get it. What do you enjoy most about presenting your art to others? Oh, that, that's a good question. I, I love doing the outdoor festivals and have been told not to, but I think I think that joy of being right with the people that might possibly adopt a painting for their home, there's a thrill in that because I'm a stranger to them and I'm watching them respond emotionally to my artwork and if they actually decide to take one home, it's the perfect ending to the process of the painting. I had the joy of painting it, I had the joy of exhibiting it and watching people respond and then someone actually takes it home. That's like the perfect ending to the painting story. How'd you get started with painting? Uh, I uh, started as a young child like most artists and uh, just uh, kept it up. Um, went to uh, commercial art school after uh, high school and then um, spent four years in the Navy to uh, get the uh, GI Bill to go to Art Center of College uh, here in California. And uh, even though I became a fireman, I just drawing and painting on my off days. So uh, now I'm retired and this is mostly what I do. And you just got accepted to the California, the California Art Club? California Art Club as an artist. And how did you end up uh, with the plein air style? Is that something you've always enjoyed? It's something or? I've always uh, done. I really not, I didn't get much satisfaction from uh, working from photographs. So uh, it's just you want to enjoy the life and uh, it's more fun to be with. So, so you made the switch from saving lives to painting landscapes. So. <laughs> well, uh, I think what I want to share with other people is my love of being outdoors. I have always been an outdoor person, hiking, camping, uh, canoeing, and so, and so on. And uh, so plein air painting is a natural extension of what I've done my whole life. And for me, I love nothing better than to have the horizon for my walls and the sky for my ceiling and brilliant sunlight on something to paint. Uh, that's one of the peak experiences of life. So, so an artwork is almost like a, a part of you when you when, when someone it, is. It is, is but I don't want to get I don't want to get too out there. But um, and I'm not preachy at all. It, it's basically one of the ways that I pray. I mean, it's my way of saying to the Creator, look, I see what you've given us, and I really appreciate it. Um, and that's the way I feel closer to, to my Creator. So, you know, it's, this is my church, you know. And the challenge of the wind, too, is... Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, you know... The elements, I should say. It could be rain, wind, rain, freezing air, whatever. You're yeah, out there. I've in. had all kinds of things. I've had, you know, encounters with wild animals, um, and, I, and I mean, you know, Everything from getting halfway through a painting and realizing you got mountain lion tracks all around you and you don't know where the mountain lion is, to uh, an alligator that was laying on the shore in Florida. You didn't see him until that's the wind. Until uh, that was the painting. He left me alone. Sometimes. But yeah, the natural elements are part of it, but all that stuff becomes part of the part of the experience and therefore it becomes part of your painting. And that's the thing about plain air that I enjoy. I love studio painting as well because all of the pieces you do give the sense of what was going on when you were there. The piece that I've done outdoors, it may be two years ago now, and I can remember exactly what the weather was like and was it warm, was it cold, what sense were in the air. Um, it, it's a complete 
sensory experience. It's not just a visual one. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah.